Now let me show you how to calculate circular areas, volumes, and arc lengths on the Construction Master Pro. And keep in mind if you're using the trig model or the desktop model, the keystrokes are exactly the same. Now, this feature is great for circles, columns, sonotubes, arched openings, or really anything round. You start off by entering the diameter, let's say 12 inches, and I hit circle, that's the diameter. Press it again, it gives me the surface area at the top of that circle. Press it again, it gives me the circumference around that circle. So say we want to, let me go back through that cycle there, diameter is 12 inches. Say we want to do a 12-inch uh, diameter sauna tube, 4 feet high. So this square inch times 4 feet equals 0.11 cubic yards, and maybe I have 20 of them underneath my deck. So I'm going to need about 2.5 cubic yards. I can add, say, 5% to that for a little bit of waste I might have. 2.4 cubic yards for that example. Say you've got a patio with a semicircular uh, edge on it with a 10-foot diameter circle, and I want to figure out the uh, arc length. 10 feet is my diameter. Press it again. There's my surface area. Shows me the surface area of the whole patio, the whole circle. And the circumference of the whole circle is 31.5, but I only want half of that. I want 180 degrees, let's say. 180 is my arc length, 180 degrees. Press it again. The arc length is 15, 8 and a half inches around it. I can press it again. I can get the cord length that's across it. Well, that makes sense. It's 180 degrees of a 10-foot diameter circle. Press it again. There's my segment uh, square foot area and the pie slice and the total rise from the center, it's essentially the radius.